Well, blessings to all of you watching this short, encouraging message today. I want to share a word the Lord spoke to me, something I heard him say that really took me by surprise. It kind of caught me off guard and I want to share this word. This is for those of you who have walked through challenging past situations, trauma, pain, tragic events, loss. This is your word and this is a word of hope for you. Over the last few months, I have been seeing the number 9-11 more often than I want to admit. When I begin to see sequences or something catches my attention a lot, I know the Lord is speaking. And so I've been seeing 9-11. And when I see it, to be honest with you, I cringe. I hate seeing the number 9-11 because in my mind, I'm automatically thinking tragedy, trauma, emergency something terrible is about to happen and i've associated 9 11 with very negative things and the other night as i picked up my phone immediately i picked it up to 9 11 and i was like oh lord what awful thing is about to happen and as i said that to the lord immediately i heard the lord speak to me and he said why do you automatically assume that it's bad and it caught me off guard because I'm thinking well I've been very good with symbols and signs and things that come my way of finding the positive and the good there's always this positive and this negative to symbols I teach on this you know you look at the positive you look at the negative you tie in the emotion you look at all of these things and there's always a positive and there's always a negative but for some reason when it comes to 9-11 I haven't found a positive. I've only ever looked at the negative. And you know, the Lord used this, this one symbol that he knows that I have associated with a negative thing to really begin to speak to me a word that I believe is for so many of you. You know, when you walk through trauma, you walk through an emergency situation, you walk through tragedy, you walk through loss, you walk through really difficult circumstances there is something that can happen where we we allow that negative thing from the past to frame our mindset on anything going forward like i cannot see the positive in the future i'm not able to see the hope connected to this thing for the future and I believe that what the Lord was speaking to me is really he's wanting to unravel for some of you who have come out of difficult situations. He wants to unravel the negative mindset, those strongholds that begin to form in your mind where you're bracing yourself for something bad to happen, for some negative thing to unfold. Like I can't see how there's going to be a good thing in this. But I want to tell you that as I've been praying and speaking to the Lord. He showed me that he has been speaking to me a word of hope all this time in a very unusual way. It's kind of like when that, that concept of the glass half empty and the glass half full, right? It's like that water is in the same place, but some people look at it and they see automatically the glass half empty. It's the negative perspective. And that positive perspective is to see the glass half full. But I want to tell you that even as I'm thinking through all of this, the Lord is showing me that his, his hope, his future, his plan for you is so good that it supersedes anything that we can see. As we look at something being half full, the Lord is saying, oh, I see your cup overflowing. I prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. I anoint your head with oil and your cup is about to overflow. I want to read some scriptures to you and I'm going to pull for you guys from 9-11 scriptures just to show you how the Lord was speaking to me hope after the trials. Genesis 9-11 says, I establish my covenant with you and never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. Nehemiah 9.11, you divided the sea before them so that they passed through on dry ground, but you hurled their pursuers into the depths like some 
like a stone into mighty waters. Amos 9, 11, but also on that judgment day, I will restore David's house that has fallen to pieces. I'll repair the holes in the roof, replace the broken windows and fix it up like new. Isn't that so powerful and so beautiful? I want to read this Psalm 23, 1 to 6. This is such a beautiful psalm. When you've come out of difficulty, when you've been in those places of trauma and pain and emergency and desperation, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters and he restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. For though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So powerful. God is for you. He is your shepherd. He is leading you. And God wants you to know today there is hope for you. He is positioning you where he wants you. I just want to encourage you guys with that today. And I want to pray for you. Anyone who has been dealing with that, you've got that cringy feeling of like, oh my gosh, what terrible thing is coming next? What next? What bad thing is going to hit me now? Right? Just like I was seeing with the number 11, 9-11, like, oh, what emergency? What terrible thing is about to happen? I want to break that off of you for those of you who have gone through trauma and it's like that trauma has created a stronghold in your mind where you're bracing yourself for some bad thing to happen. God is saying to you, no, your cup is about to overflow. I'm preparing a table for you in the presence of your enemies. And so I'm just going to release an impartation. I'm going to break that off of you. So if that's you, I want you to come into agreement with me right now. So Jesus, I love lift up each and every single one watching those who have gone through tremendous trials and pain and trauma and loss in the past season where that trauma and all of those negative things have shaped their thinking and they feeling that reluctance and that resistance and they bracing themselves for the next negative thing. God, I thank you that right now that negative thinking, I break it in the mighty name of Jesus or every stronghold that's come to cloud their mind, to, to bring those oppressive thoughts and those that, that reluctance and that worry to step into the new. I just break it in Jesus name. God, I thank you that you're just going to wash their minds with the blood of Jesus right now. God, I thank you that you're just going to wash their minds with the water of the word. God, you are the word made flesh. God, I thank you that you're just going to renew their minds right now. Renew their minds right now. God, I thank you that you're restoring their hope. God, and there is a tree of life that is about to bloom and blossom in their lives. I bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak a hedge of protection over their lives. God, and I declare that they will prosper in this season. God, I thank you for that table that you have prepared for them in advance in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you guys. I bless you guys and I speak freedom over you. I, I release that hope over your hearts right now, over your hearts. And I'm just seeing a picture. I'm just seeing somebody really, you really being, um, you've been through that incredible fire. I see the heaviness and I see it right in this moment. I'm seeing a picture of a woman just being washed where like the presence of God is just washing over you. Even right now in this moment, the presence of God is washing you. And I see all the weight and the worry just washing away. This is a new day for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I just release it over you now. Thank you, Lord. I bless all of you watching. And listen, if you are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe for more 
faithful, prophetic messages. I want to see you burn for Jesus. Bless you. Until next time.